Hey guys, thank you for watching. For this video, I want to make another go-to meal. This is the pizza. Now, there's a bunch of different ways you can do a keto-friendly pizza. Uh, you can do the uh, cauliflower, you can do chicken, which I'm going to do today. And then I've also tried the corned beef. Now, the corned beef tastes pretty good, but it doesn't stay together as well as the chicken pizza. Uh, so I'm going to do chicken today. Okay, so I have my ingredients ready. The whole point of my go-to meals is that it's something that you can do really fast. Uh, you don't have to uh, take too much time to prep or plan. Uh, some planning might be ne necessary, but most of them are going to be things that you have in the refrigerator already. So I'll let you know whenever I use an ingredient that I keep in the house all the time. Okay. Uh, so first, let me start with the crust. So for the crust, I'm just going to take some... Uh, some cheddar jack cheese uh, mixture. You can use any meltable cheese, but I, I use this one. I have two different types. And so I use this and mozzarella for the topping. So I'm just gonna take about one and a half hand, handfuls. So right, right around there. Okay, so I'm done with this cheese. So next one I'm gonna add is the uh, chicken breast. It's actually canned chicken breast. Uh, first I opened it and then I squeeze as much of the juice as I can out. Okay, and then once I do that, I go ahead and drop it in here. Okay, so that's the chicken. And then I'm gonna drop two eggs in here. Okay, so after the eggs, I throw in some salt. I just kind of gauge it. Uh, I'm, since I'm on a keto diet, I like to use a lot of salt uh, just to, uh, to make sure I stay hydrated. Okay, salt and then some pepper. I also like to throw some seasonings in there, so I'm going to throw some Italian uh, seasonings here. Okay, and then now some garlic powder. Okay, so I'm just going to mix this all together. I'm going to make sure I break all the pieces of chicken down. Now, I already turned the oven on to 400 degrees, so while I'm prepping this, the oven is uh, preheating. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Like I said, I'm just mixing everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab some parchment paper. Okay, I'm gonna dump it right here in the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make a little ball here and then I start smashing it down. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a second piece of uh, parchment paper and I try to get the same size. And then put it right on top. I'm going to try to flatten it as much as I can. Once I have it nice and flat, I want to try to, I want to try and make some edges just so that the sauce doesn't come off when I try to put it on there. It gets pretty thin in the edges. So when you do this, it, uh, it makes it so that when you actually cut the pizza slices, it doesn't come apart. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this. Okay, put it on here. Put it in the oven. And so that's it. I'll put it in the oven for about uh, four to six minutes. I'll go six. And then I'll check back with you guys in a second. So I wanted this crust to be a little bit crispier so instead of six minutes I actually uh, left it until it was nice and crispy on the outside so uh, that's gonna ha that's how I like it so I'm gonna bring this out right now it's super hot okay so that's how that looks okay. Okay. I'm gonna let it cool down just a little bit uh, enough so that I can put the ingredients where I'll burn myself and then I'll come back to it now that it rested for a little bit, I'm gonna add the sauce. Now, normally I make my own sauce to avoid any uh, hidden sugars or carbs or anything like that, but um, uh, just for simplicity's sake, uh, I'm gonna use this sauce. I bought it from Costco and it has, uh, has four grams of sugar, uh, which is a little bit high, but uh, I'm only gonna use that half cup, so four grams for the whole pizza is not too bad. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda gauge it. I don't really measure it. As soon as I see a nice little puddle, okay, that looks good enough. I'm gonna take a ladle. I learned this technique from uh, Domino's Pizza. Again, I want it crunchy, so I'm just gonna get the sauce nice and thin. 
so you can barely see some uh, where it's at okay so I got that so working for Domino's I know that it's better to add a little bit of cheese at the bottom of your ingredients so I'm gonna add some first like this okay I normally have pepperoni in the house but uh, I didn't have any today so I'm just gonna use some uh, a hot dog I know it's kind of ghetto but uh, I didn't want to cook anything so I'm just gonna put this hot dog on here I'm only putting on half because uh, this is also for my daughters and they like uh, all cheese pizzas so I'm gonna leave one side all cheese just in case they complain because I don't want to make another one just for them oh, before I forget so this is I'm just using mozzarella cheese for the bottom and the top okay I'm also gonna use some bacon uh, crumbles okay again Costco I always keep these around the mozzarella all it's also always around the house okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just dump a bunch actually you know what my daughters like bacon too so I'm gonna put some bacon on this side okay and then some more mozzarella cheese okay and that's it so basically it's done all I have to do is throw it back in the oven now because the crust is already cooked, I only need to put it in the oven for another 10 minutes. It's just enough for that top cheese to melt. Like I said, I want to crunch it. I want that top uh, cheese to kind of have a nice golden color. So the pizza is done. Let me take it out to show you guys how it looks. Okay, booyah. So I think it looks pretty good. Right, let me leave this in here so I can cut it. Okay, so that's the chicken crust pizza. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it. Yeah. That's good. That's really good. At least the sausage is really good. So that's my go-to pizza recipe. Uh, again, the two main elements would be the crust and then the toppings. For the crust, there's different variations that you can do. Uh, you can use chicken like I did. Uh, some people just use uh, almond flour and so you get the fat, uh, fat head crust, uh, something like that. You can use the cauliflower and so, that, I mean, there's just endless variations. Uh, most of them are going to be similar though. As far as the toppings, as long as you stick to keto friendly vegetables uh, or toppings, uh, then you should be fine. My go-to's are really pepperoni and sausage. Uh, I do put green vegetables like bell peppers and you know some spinach, things like that on top. So the pizza sauce does add carbs. Uh, even if you make your own, the tomatoes will tend to be higher on the carb count. Another thing you can try if you don't have a sauce, you can just put olive oil on top and so that gives it a little bit of a different kind of more rustic uh, taste. So pizza is literally my go-to meal. Uh, I make it anytime that I'm short on time or I'm short, on, I'm short on ingredients. You can tell because I had the big spatula and also I have a pizza stone inside the oven. But even if you don't have those, uh, you can just put it on a sheet or uh, you, you, can, you can even make it a deep dish uh, by putting it inside a pan. So hopefully you guys can kind of build uh, your recipes from here. Uh, and yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with pizza uh, on a keto diet. So uh, enjoy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and leave any comments or questions below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.